Hi, welcome to the second episode of our work from home series. Working from home can seem very comfortable until you find yourself blurring the boundaries between work and home. In this video, we will learn how you can stay productive while you're working remote. Start your day as though you are going to the office. You can stay in your PJs all day and start working while sipping your coffee from bed, but your day might not end up being as productive as you would like. What was your usual routine before work? Wake up early, work out if you want to, hit the shower, put on some work clothes and get ready for the day. You will increase the chances of being productive with a morning ritual that mirrors what you did before going to the office. Don't start working until you're ready. While working remotely, people have the tendency to rush to start working before they are even ready. There's always that one email that requires immediate attention, but rushing into it does no good. If you are someone who's pulling out your laptop while you brush your teeth, you might be starting your day off on the wrong note. Take your time, relax, and finish what needs to be done outside work so those tasks don't distract you while you work. Have a separate space to work. Helping your mind differentiate between work and personal time is essential while you are working remotely. Having a designated place in your home where you can work peacefully is the first step towards achieving it. All you need is a workstation that's comfortable, has fewer distractions, and preferably isn't your couch. It can be your room, your garden, and even your garage. As long as it helps you get the job done, you should stick with it. Set a schedule around your obligations at home. Everybody has ebbs and flows throughout the day and distractions abound. While fixing your schedule for the day, analyze when you will be more efficient and when you're likely to have more distractions. Depending on these factors, you can plan when tasks can be completed during which time of the day. Set boundaries for people at home. You're likely to be surrounded by your housemates while working from home. This means you're more likely to be interrupted by them while you work. Set guidelines and let them know when and how you can be approached once you sit down to work. You can even close the door and hang a sign if you're engaged in something and cannot be interrupted. Keep everything you need to work with you. While you sit down to work, make sure you have all you need to create a comfortable work ambience. You're more likely to save yourself some distractions if you have everything you need near you. Buy yourself a comfortable chair, table, and cushion, place your pen and notes nearby, and have a water bottle to sip while you work. Take regular breaks. Don't try to compensate for the fact that your boss is not around to see that you are actually working. There is nothing to feel guilty about taking breaks. Nobody works for all 8 hours. Take regular short breaks every hour to recharge your energy and increase the quality of your work. Go for a walk, do some stretches, listen to music, or even take a short nap, just as long as you don't compromise your work. Know when to stop working and don't go back. This is the most important tip to maintaining a healthy work-life balance during remote work. Once your work hours are over, switch off. Working from home doesn't mean you need to keep working all day while you're at home. After you switch off your work, you might get an email to respond to or some ideas that need to be put into action. However, do not go back. Whatever it is, it can wait until tomorrow. We hope this helps you. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, stay safe.